Today, we're discussing a question many people have. What causes OCD? Understanding the factors that contribute to obsessive compulsive disorder can help demystify the condition and provide insight into effective treatments. Before we dive into the causes, let's briefly revisit what OCD is. Obsessive compulsive disorder is a mental health condition characterized by persistent, unwanted thoughts, known as obsessions, and repetitive behaviors or mental acts, called compulsions, that a person feels driven to perform. These obsessions and compulsions can significantly interfere with daily life, causing distress and anxiety. One of the key factors in the development of OCD is biology. Research has shown that OCD has a strong genetic component, meaning it can run in families. If a close relative has OCD, there's an increased chance of developing the disorder, although it's not guaranteed. Studies using brain imaging have revealed differences in the brain structure and functioning of individuals with OCD. Specifically, areas of the brain, such as the orbitofrontal cortex, anterior cingulate cortex, and the caudate nucleus have been implicated in OCD. These regions are involved in decision-making, error detection, and the regulation of emotions and behaviors. In people with OCD, these brain areas may be overactive or miscommunicate, leading to the constant feeling that something is wrong or the need to perform certain actions to prevent something bad from happening. This can explain why those with OCD feel compelled to engage in rituals or compulsions even when they intellectually understand that these actions aren't logically necessary. Neurotransmitters, particularly serotonin, also play a significant role in OCD. Serotonin is a chemical in the brain that helps regulate mood, anxiety, and other functions. An imbalance or dysfunction in serotonin levels has been linked to OCD. This is one reason why medications that target serotonin, like selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs, are often effective in reducing OCD symptoms. While biology plays a crucial role, psychological factors can also contribute to the development of OCD. Early life experiences, personality traits, and learned behaviors can all influence how OCD manifests. Individuals with OCD often have certain cognitive patterns that make them more susceptible to the disorder. For example, they may have an inflated sense of responsibility, believing that they have to prevent harm at all costs. They might also struggle with uncertainty and have a higher need for control, which can lead to repetitive checking or rituals to ensure everything is just right. While not a direct cause, trauma or significant stress can trigger OCD symptoms or make existing symptoms worse. Events like a major life change, loss, or trauma can exacerbate underlying vulnerabilities, bringing OCD to the forefront. For some people, a stressful or traumatic event may be the first time they experience OCD symptoms. Environmental influences, including upbringing and experiences, can also play a role in OCD. For instance, a person raised in a highly anxious or overly controlling environment might develop OCD as a way to cope with their surroundings. Cultural and societal factors can shape the specific content of obsessions and compulsions, making them more pronounced in certain environments. It's important to note that OCD is likely caused by a combination of genetic, biological, psychological, and environmental factors. It's not usually one single cause, but an interplay between these elements. For example, a person might have a genetic predisposition to OCD, but whether they develop the disorder could depend on their environment and experiences, such as stress or trauma. OCD is a complex disorder, and researchers are continuously studying it to better understand its causes. 
new studies are exploring how genetics, brain function, and environmental factors work together to trigger OCD. Ongoing research also looks into how early intervention might prevent OCD from developing in those who are at risk. Understanding the causes of OCD can be a crucial step in managing the disorder. While the exact causes can vary from person to person, knowing that OCD is a condition with biological, psychological, and environmental roots can help reduce the stigma and encourage those affected to seek help. If you or a loved one is struggling with OCD, it might be worth trying one of our self-help courses at impulsetherapy.com. Created by OCD medical specialists, specifically for those suffering with OCD, over 97% of our users who have completed the course have seen a reduction in OCD symptoms. You can find out more at impulsetherapy.com. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more information and support on OCD and mental health topics. If you found this video helpful, please like and share it to help spread awareness and support. Remember, you're not alone and together we can make a difference.